Hello to you from Reading. It's a small city near London, a um, satellite city. The original heater that was um, installed here when the school was just built. He lived in London with the Times newspaper and he came here for his holidays. Kids write down uh, what they want uh, to eat and the menu is made specially for them. Under our control, when the target's in the air, fire twice at it. <laughs> I'm staying in this hotel, uh, Crown Plaza, and uh, this company I got curious and asked on the reception turned out to, to be um, some sort of um, software developers. Uh, the IT company, so they are located over there, and next to them is some kind of aerospace company. They do engineering, and uh, why am I talking about this? <laughs> I'm not here for them, I'm just staying here and wanted to show you uh, the place, and uh, why do I want to show it to you? Now, because today we are going with our group uh, to take a look at a school. It's a very cool one. Now, I've already made a video with a detailed review of it by myself, uh, but um, today we're going um, together with a group, and after that I'm going on a big adventure. I'm going to Belgium, Italy, Spain, um, Switzerland. I'm gonna publish it all gradually, all the educational institutions, and um, you can uh, watch. I think it's gonna be interesting. I'm thrilled myself. Today's school is fun. For one, it's a former house of um, the owner of the Times uh, newspaper. They even uh, built a toilet for the queen. Now they've built a new boarding for students to live. Uh, I'm very curious to check it out, uh, to see how the school has changed. Uh, so I'm going to show you around and tell you about everything. Well, and for now I'm in this village. And by the way, if you're interested in studying in a school like that or other educational institutions, uh, you can contact our employees of smaps.com. Uh, they will consult you. So write or call with any questions. If you're interested in this particular school, some of you might think, damn, it's not London, I want London. And I was in London yesterday and it took me just the 30 minutes to get here. Just 30 minutes. It takes me one hour to get to work in Moscow. This is where you drive in from, and uh, this is the main building where we will soon enter, and you'll see everything that I see with your own eyes. The church. It's not used as a church right now, but it's a place where they hold the exams. And this is the boarding where kids live, and it's right in this building. Another one is uh, behind this uh, wall, not the big one. It's uh, a uh, separate building, a nice little uh, house, a cottage, if you will. Uh, students live there too. Redham House Berkshire is an independent co-educational school located in Workingham, Berkshire County, Great Britain. It is a part of the Inspired Group, uniting over 80 premium schools worldwide. It provides education for children between 3 and 18, in line with the English National Program, with emphasis on academic performance, personal development and social responsibility. International Baccalaureate Program IB is also offered. It is acknowledged by the universities all over the world. Students from various countries and cultures study in Redham. Redham offers a comfortable and inclusive environment with a focus on individual teaching and small classrooms. So if you were standing here in 1800, around about 230 years ago, we would be in the middle of a wood. This would be a big forest and it would be called Bear Wood. And the, this big forest was owned by the crown, owned by the king, and they, was, they sold off this land to a family called the Walters family. And the Walters family owned the Times newspaper. And the Walters family built a very modest mansion on the site that we are now. Okay? And over the course of the next 50, 60 years, the Walters family revolutionised printing 
which meant that the Times newspaper became the best-selling newspaper in the world. And because they made so much money, the next son, so John Walter III, knocked down his father's, or his grandfather's house and built this. So this was his holiday home. It wasn't even his main house. He lived in London with the Times newspaper and he came here for his holidays. And as you go around the house, you'll see there's lots of wood. And all of this wood was from the forest and from the wood of this area. So he built this whole area. What a hole, guys. A real fireplace with a real fire. The original heater that was installed here when everything was just built, right? And the, the toilet that was built for the queen when she first visited. And, and that's the original heater, right here. Friday evenings we have a film that they get to choose which ones they'd like to watch. We normally have one film for the younger students, <laughs> slightly more friendly, and then one for the sixth form students which perhaps has slightly higher ratings on which they can watch in here. But again you'll see they all have a PS5, they like to, especially when there's soccer matches, we have students from around the world, a lot of them enjoy their football. Some of our Spanish students that come in from, uh, from our um, inspired schools in Spain always a rivalry between Real Madrid and Barcelona. <laughs> on every weekend, normally on the Sunday, but sometimes on Saturdays, we have a big trip that will go somewhere. So last year we have kind of went s s uh, skiing and snowboarding in an indoor centre, which is not too far away, go-karting, paintballing, shopping, we've been to Windsor Castle. So there's lots of different things every single weekend that they can choose to go on. In addition to that, there's also different things on site. So the theatre and the music uh, centre is open for them at the weekends. Campus includes modern conveniences, including a library, science labs, arts and design center, and sports grounds. The school also offers a wide spectrum of extracurricular activities, including sports, music, drama, and community work. Radom is known for its high-quality education and its aim to give students comprehensive learning experience. If you want to learn more about this school or studying abroad and about admission possibilities in general, visit our website smaps.com where our online consultants will answer all of your questions. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in like studying abroad, career and immigration possibilities. Me and Dave will load the guns for you, close them, and when you're ready, just say pull and we'll put a target in the air. Mm. Under our control, when the target's in the air, fire twice at it. Suddenly it's 1pm and we're in this uh, beautiful hole, it's only one big hole, it uh, used to be a picture gallery, here they even have um, old uh, photos of uh, how it used to look um, before in the old days, uh, before it was a school. This is uh, the Cook Library, it's a dining hall. So what do the kids uh, eat here, if you're wondering? Um, they choose and write down what they'd like to eat, and based on uh, that, their menu is formed. And this menu is changed every several weeks. Uh, so if they say, oh, you know, we don't like this and that, uh, the chef could just reply, guys, you've made your own menu yourselves. Yep. Nevertheless, every few weeks, the menu's changed. <laughs> Personal couldn't have um, used uh, the same um, stairway as um, the owners of um, the house, so they had their own um, stairs here, and uh, right now I'm using uh, the one uh, for um, servants. So basically it's like a tower here, it's, um, it's quite small and it's narrow, um, here we're climbing it.
our next destination. We're in the Heathrow Airport right now. Today at 11 p.m. we'll arrive in Brussels, Belgium. And we'll check out a new school there tomorrow.